A 2 News exclusive, a driver caught in the middle of this crash caused by an accused impaired driver says he's just lucky to be alive after this tonight. It's a scary scene. Daniel Woodruff spoke to him and Daniel joins us live tonight in Utah County with this story. Cops say it was the second time that day that the driver who caused this crash was under the influence. And tonight, one of the victims is sharing his feelings about that. This dash cam video shows the moments before the crash Wednesday afternoon on SR 73 in Eagle Mountain. Caden Gurch is driving this pickup truck. I noticed a car starting to drift into the middle lane from the oncoming traffic. He tried to swerve but still got hit along with several other cars. The driver at fault was 40 year old James Dumas. According to the Utah County Sheriff's Office, he's shown here in a mugshot from 2008. Looked like a pinball going in there and he was bouncing off of other cars. Sergeant Spencer Cannon says deputies smelled alcohol and suspect Dumas was driving drunk. But get this, he'd already been arrested earlier that day for impaired driving. In less than six and a half hours after he got bailed out of jail, he got in a crash here in Eagle Mountain. Clearly made no effort at all to stop or slow down or avoid or swerve out of the way or anything. I'm blown away about how that could happen. Caden escaped with just whiplash. The only driver seriously hurt was Dumas, who was flown to the hospital. He is putting not just his life, but all the other drivers around him at risk. I have a son that's three months old, and I don't want to leave him fatherless. He has this plea for other drivers. Pay attention to those around you. Don't. If you had a drink, please don't drive. <laughs> Now, the suspect has been charged already in that first incident yesterday and has pleaded not guilty. Charges are pending in the second one. I did try to reach out today to James Dumas, was unable to reach him. He does not yet have an attorney listed. Live in Utah County, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.